when you look at the market from a very bigger picture perspective you'll see that this market is like a puzzle there is a random chaos in the market and true art of being a trader is to find an order in the chaos so today i'm gonna solve this puzzle how to find an order in chaos based on liquidity as i mentioned before that liquidity is the heart of the market so today in this video i'm gonna explore in depth how do you understand where is the liquidity the abstract part of the market like when you see that the tree is moving the wind is blowing where the tree is the market structure and price section wind is the liquidity they combine together to make things move so like the smart money we need to look at the liquidity to find the best trade possible in the market so make sure guys you stick till the end of this very important lesson and make sure you smash the like button and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't done yet so that you are not missing out this kind of masterpiece is being released almost every day and every week now before i begin this important lesson if you're new to the channel this is forex wizard from forex trading wizard academy without further delay let's get started So before you go to the chart and discuss in detail how you can find the liquidity in the market so that you can ride the trend, let's go to the very foundation. What is in fact a liquidity? If we Google this word, that, that means that is the asset, is the cash flow in the market. So what is then in terms of trading is liquidity, is the volume that your trading and everyone's trading exposure in the market now if i give you a specific example for example you have opened a trade with a five thousand dollar account or a five hundred dollar account now this five thousand or five hundred is not the liquidity the liquidity only the amount of exposure that you have in your trade Let's assume that you open a trade with a $5,000 account and your risk is 1%. That means that $50 is the liquidity for the market from your side. Now, like you, millions of traders putting their capital on the market, which is the liquidity. Now, why it is so important? Because price act like a metal and the liquidity is the magnet that's why the price always trouble from liquidity to liquidity it's like a map that you need to see in the market to understand where is the highest volume in the market where the price is heading to so that you know when to ride that train after a huge liquidity trigger now the next important question comes in play that how do you know where is liquidity now to answer this question you need to look at the price section why because price section will show you where is the liquidity imagine that two trees blowing by the wind one is almost about to break by the wind the other one is just mild movement so which one you think that have a highest blow in the wind even without looking at the wind you know that which one having the highest blow similarly price section will exactly tell you where is the liquidity so now let's see plenty of example on the chart to find out where is the liquidity so that it makes sense and you start to trade as soon as you finish this video so let's look jump at this chart, chart on gbpjpy on the 15 minutes which is our day trading time frame so let's see how the market played out here let's look at this level on this market now here we see that the market 
sharply rejected from this point now try to understand how the market has moved we see that there is a big upside a very narrow correction there is another upside very narrow correction the market has a deeper correction to this level and from that zone we saw that the market has made this move and finally slowly the price consolidated and has come back to the same level now what we have seen that from that same level from the very the same level guys keep in mind that the market has broken that to the downside and then had a huge bounce now what this bounce is representing is that after breaking this support level there is a reaction in the market okay so this reaction tells that there is a liquidity in that market now if you look at this level here already when the market has made this move there was a huge volume below this level below this zone now if you look at in the past what do you see the market did not even bounce from that level it penetrated below this level that means that when there was a lot of stop loss or the order in the market that has been triggered and all those buyers are seller here keep in mind guys that when you put a buy order your stop loss is a sell order so you want to sell and when you sell here every trader who bought here their seller so when they sold here the big boys the institutional trader they bought here and that is why this market had a upside bounce now you can see that pattern is crucially important when the market has come back to the same level it did not have reacted from the same level it again has broken that low and the market has got another upside bounce and after breaking that low if you draw the next level here what do you see from this level the price has broken that low and once the market has come to that level if you look at that level again and identify the next level from this level we see that the market has even broken that level and the market has formed this huge long week candles now whenever the market is breaking that liquidity zone the market is having a reaction and that is where you will understand that there is a liquidity so the first note here is that when you see a key level an important level is broken if you see a huge reaction that means that there is a liquidity trigger now every time a level is broken we will wait for that level to be broken again not from the same level now there is a, a misguidance in majority of retail trading education is that we look at the support and we expect that that support to be respected but we see that it has broken and then the market has gone up and this is where it comes down to be patient as a trader let the support to be broken and then ride the trend now you can see that after that after big this big long week handle once the market has closed above the previous liquidity zone this is a big move happen in the market and as you can see if you trade this long week candle after this huge liquidity trigger putting the stop loss below this low you can take a big profit from this trade almost six times profit possible from the same trade with this movement to the upside and that is the beauty of understanding liquidity in the market now let's see another example to see how you can find the liquidity straight away in the market. 
Okay traders, so let's see on gold where is the liquidity zone that most traders look for in the market. Now this is the 15 minute chart again on gold. Let's see where it is. Now if we replay the chart from this level, what do we see that there was an inverted head and shoulder. So that's the sign of reversal. Now we saw that there was a breakdown and then inverted head and shoulder the market has made a potential reversal from this downtrend to an uptrend is still not the time to trade until we see this liquidity candle now this candle is super important because we saw that this market had a huge rejection from this level has come down for a pullback there has been another bounce and that candle is in fact a huge liquidity candle now when you see this kind of liquidity candle this is easily tradable now if you look at that candle here looking at the price section putting the stop loss below this level and we easily can target at least three to one risk to reward ratio on that trade and as you can see after that the market just in couple of minutes has gone back up hit that profit target in just couple of minutes directly to the tp now along the way if you look at observe this market it maintain that liquidity zone we saw that there has been another dodgy here you can see this below this level there is a huge liquidity and the market has come down from that level has broken that liquidity zone and the market has gone back up again and every time the price is coming down breaking that liquidity zone and then bouncing to the upside now as a smart trader if you can identify those liquidity zone it becomes much easier for you to ride the trend for a bigger profit target now let's see a higher time frame example to sharpen your understanding on liquidity okay guys, so let's see this example on dollar yen Keep in mind that trend is the most important part that you need to look at. Now this is a higher time frame on the daily. Even if you are not trading on the higher time frame, if you can identify that liquidity, you can find a lot of trading opportunity on the lower time frame. Now looking at the daily, if you look at this support here, you can see this is a big impulse on the daily, followed by a correction, followed by another attempt from the buyers. And we saw that. In the next item, the price again has come down, has broken that liquidity zone completely. That support is broken and then the market has made another move to the upside. And I use that move, you saw that there is a big move. And again, the price has come down, broken the next liquidity zone. This is what we need to keep in mind that until we see that liquidity zone is violated we will be patient as a trader and if you look at that even based on our liquidity indicator you can see how powerful it is whenever the market is gathering that liquidity the market is just bouncing off that level now along the way you can see how many times the market gathered liquidity and just had a bounce to the upside Currently, this is a current chart as you can see dollar yen coming down again to another liquidity zone and I think that highly likely we could see dollar yen could break that low and then we can expect another bounce to the upside. So when you can identify those liquidity zone, the next step if you are looking at higher time frame, go to the lower time frame such as on the 1 hour, 15 minutes on 5 minutes and then wait for the price section confirmation to give you that bounce that you are looking for and then trading with proper stop loss putting the stop loss below the liquidity zone and then targeting at least three to one or two to one to ride the trend to give you the profit that you are looking for from the market and also i understand that to grasp this kind of very important concept you need to apply that strategy that liquidity in your real trading with the real 
trade example now if you also want to trade them in the real market with me so that you know how i apply that liquidity in my trade you can join me today also because all the trade that i open based on this strategy i share in the vip group where you can see all those trade with entry stop loss and take profit and i will be explaining why i have taken that trade so that you can understand it learn it and grow as a trader there is a huge discount going on today so there is a huge discount going on below this video coupon you can join today before it is ending where you will be learning and growing as a trader together with me thank you and i'll see you soon in my next analysis